Good morning, friends. Stephen Benoon here with Israeli News Live. And as all of you, I'm sure, waking up this morning, you're finding out 8.2 magnitude earthquake, uh, 104 kilometers southeast of Perryville, Alaska. It's the strongest earthquake since 1965, the, the major quake that took place uh, back then. <clears throat> and uh, in fact, Nothing in the United States has compared to that since 1965. Uh, and, and then I th sit there and think to myself how the USGS, you know, they normally kind of downplay the true magnitude of earthquakes. So there could be something to be said about that as well. Uh, <clears throat> but I actually, I got a phone call early this morning from Sister Elizabeth letting me know about this quake that was going off. And uh, so probably hearing about it as, as, as early as about 3 a.m. Um, I forget exactly what time. Well, it looks like 3, let's see. Oh, gosh, I don't know exactly the exact time this morning this went off. But, yes, it was very, very early I'd found out about the quake. Uh, and then there was also the tsunami warming, warnings. You had the buoys going off um, all around uh, northern uh, Alaska there, over across going towards Russia. Uh, there were tsunami warnings that were that were sounding and stuff. The, the, the concerns that uh, uh, that 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 possibly a tsunami could even hit Hawaii. So we we were seeing quite a few things like that that were taking place. And um, you know, and I've been trying this morning, and, and I've been up very early anyway since about 6 a.m. Um, looking to see if we were going to have any tsunami footage, anything like that. The tsunami warning was lifted. Um, we did not end up seeing any tsunamis uh, thus far uh, of things that happened there. This particular video footage here, though, is of the quake in these people's house here. Their camera caught the quake. Thought it might be interesting for you just to see just how strong that quake is. And keep in mind, you know, the quake is shaking the camera as well. But everything, uh, camera falls down, everything. It, it is really, really rattling. I kind of wonder if the fish tank survived myself. I sit there and saw their fish tank in the right corner of the screen there. And couldn't help but wonder if that didn't survive there. This video footage here um, posted on Twitter by uh, Fabric uh, is another interesting one here. And uh, let me kind of play some of the footage of this one here for you as well. Uh, Gentleman Ty, he's there on a boat there in Alaska. Also showing a little bit of landslides that are happening as well. Still got a rock slide going on here. Wait for the aftershocks. Life in Chignik. The dust is still going off over here. This whole boat was shaking up and down. That's interesting when you hear about a boat shaking, you know. Yeah, that was probably close to an eight point something, seven. That's the biggest one I felt. It was, it was close. That's interesting. The, the guy that made the video, it's got to be close to an eight something and 8.2. So no doubt he's been in an earthquake before and like i said you know he's talking about uh, that by the way that's the sirens there for tsunami warnings there were mass evacuations all along the alaska coastlines there people that i did see videos where people were moving um moving to higher ground etc uh you know for fear of uh tsunamis coming in and like i said the buoys were going off as well so um, let me just see if I can, I'll pull that back up for you real quick. I did have that up earlier too. Um, there were, oh, let's see here. There were the, um, uh, let's just see. A lot of people are actually posting things about it so far, but uh, there, there's your, there's one image right there showing you where that's that like a key coming off of Alaska where that, actually took place at and um, and let's see that buoy warnings there 
Um, nope. Let's see here. They actually show some video footage of the buoy warnings uh, going off there, and I wanted you to kind of be able to see that. Let me let me just take out the word earthquake because that normally helps pull that up, and we'll go to video. And here we go, right there. There it is. There. So Sky Queen posted that. You can see the the yellow markers there. Those are those are buoys there. They're all flashing there every all the way to basically Washington state there were buoys going off all the way back around over towards Russia and towards northern Japan uh, that's a lot of buoys going off for tsunami warning so there were definitely sudden rises in the water there uh, as a result of this earthquake and uh, but as of as of thus far, I've not been able to find any video footage whatsoever or any news clip or anything of tsunamis actually hitting. So if they did, and that's if, if they did, um, they must have been fairly moderate, not enough really for anyone to notice. Um, because even under the latest everything, you still, you don't, you don't show, it doesn't show anything. So, um, and I've seen all this video footage here. Anyway, um, there's some things that I have been working on. We've got a situation going on over in Israel and with Russia, Israel, Syria, um, Iran, and definitely keep in mind. Oh, oh, there, there, this is one of them. It seems we're talking about um, earthquakes. Let me share this video footage here. Uh, oh, no, this was actually a meteorite. It's not the one I was looking for. Um, we did get quite a few of these. This one's over Texas there on your screen right there. That's kind of interesting. They're starting to pop back up again. Um, and if you remember, I told you earlier this year, we'd see another shower of these meteorites uh, getting closer to August, September time frame. Um, we'd start seeing them also too with more sonic booms. Uh, still nothing major, nothing like that, but just uh, but with some sonic booms there. Uh, and just kind of look at your screen there. You can read that for yourself. Pause it. Come back to it. It's not what I was looking for, but uh, um, but in, at any rate, there a lot of things going on, and uh, I wanted to um, go over some things with you guys about the situation going on over in the Middle East right now. I know there's some very serious issues happening there. And it's not really making media as of yet, but these are part of the managed players. When I say managed world leaders, Russia, Syria, Iran, Israel, all, all these countries here, all four of these countries are managed for the same end game. Uh, they're working their way up to build the tensions for a war uh, that will take place. From what I'm hearing uh, sometime uh, in 2024 with Iran initiating the first attack. Um, but in between that time, Russia has got to step up and act as if they're going to really stand with Iran now. So you're going to start seeing that posturing more and more. Uh, this is why Russia recently used its own uh, defensive missile system inside of Syria to protect Iran and Syria from Israeli uh, attacks. And uh, so that's, like I said, it's all part of the posturing. So one reason why we can kind of tell you some of these things even before they take place, just like Taiwan. I've been saying about Taiwan now for several months that uh, China is going to take Taiwan this year. That's what we've been told thus far. And then uh, I have to go back and find it. Like I said, I'm working on this still. A friend of mine sent me a uh, some footage, uh, photographic footage anyway, and I think maybe some video, I'm not sure, uh, of Taiwan building up a massive presence, uh, excuse me, China building up a massive presence of military uh, ships and things preparing for that offensive now. So now we're going to start seeing that take place next, and they're supposed to do that sometime this year. So things are going to just escalate over, getting getting greater and greater with the different countries as the elite 
manage who's supposed to do what next, when, and that type of scenario there until we end up into an all-out world war, which will affect mainland United States this time around. So not looking very good. Anyway, Steve Benoon here with Israeli News Live. Thank you for listening. And we will talk to you hopefully a little bit later today. I can pull this together. Uh, I'll try, or maybe late tonight, one or the other. There's some things I'm trying to check on, though, that I really need some information before I actually speak on that subject. So I'll wait till I get that information, and uh, then we'll, I'll, I'll update you about those things. Y'all have a great day, and thank you for listening.